Hello, welcome to the Daily Poetry Project and thank you very much Kath Poutley for bringing my attention to this poem posted on the Eco Colchester Facebook page. Great uh, Facebook page that, thank you everybody who puts that together. This poem is entitled Mrs Wright's Food Waste Policy. It's by Martin Newell, of course it is. This is how it reads. The blue tits liked the bacon rind, the sparrows ate the crusts of bread, and anything the cat refused, the dog would often eat instead. Even tiny crumbs were saved, the tablecloth being gathered up and shaken on the kitchen lawn in times before fast food was born. Throw bread upon the fire, she'd say, you'll live to want it come one day. We never wasted food back then, or not that I recall as such. The leftovers, such as we'd got, were fried and seasoned, served up hot as rissoles, maybe once a week, or mashed in bubble and in squeak. Firm Edwardian economics founded grand domestic laws, thrift the motto and its cause, sharpened over two world wars. You never threw the stuff away, for this would be the greatest sin. And what she'd scrape into a bin wouldn't fill a baked bean tin. But had she'd lived to learn about the food waste bins which Whitehawk planned, oh, she'd approve. Of course she would. It's just she wouldn't understand. <laughs>